Hey guys, welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. My name is Andrew, and this is part 5. Um, it's been, it's been quite a while since I've actually recorded this. Um, last time, I guess, we, we just got here to Dragon Roost Islands. Um, and so I guess we're gonna explore here. This is where the, the boat told us to go, so. Danger, do not attack the explosive fruit. Um, explosive fruit. Well, what we have to do... Whoa! <laughs> um, I, di I didn't expect the slope there. Let's try this again. Let's wait a little bit longer this time. Huh. And there we go. Oh, fantastic. Wait. Oh, no. Yellow rupees. Yellow rupees. I don't know if I've gone through this, but they're worth 10. So, I want them. We got a few more rupees here. Good stuff. Oh, three more rupees. Always use some more rupees. And there's a rupee down here, actually. Oh, and another one over here. Ooh, another one. Alright, um, let's see. Let's see what's on over this way. Oh. Um. Oh. Oh. Well, you know, I don't think we can do anything about that yet, so... We're just gonna keep, keep on trucking for now. Um. Let's see what's on up this path. Another yellow rupee. God, these are... This is great. We're gonna be so rich. Um, we're gonna be able to go back to to Windfall Island and buy every sail that they have there, and it's gonna be great because I don't I don't really know. Um, uh, what do we, let's read this sign real quick. Huh, sign, mail center to the right. Great. All right, so now this one's gonna be a bit tricky. I guess we have to get it up on that ledge there. Um, come with me, bomb bomb flower oh don't oh man that wow that was pretty good all right now with that done let's classic link siddle saddle oh god i'm through the map yep there we go don't worry it was just a just a minor accident N no big deal but um anyway wow look a, bl a blue rupee we're gonna have we're gonna have 200 rupees oh Fantastic. I think the 200 is our max actually right now, so. Um, just drop that right there. That's very precariously perched. Whoop. Perfect. Oh my gosh. that That's fantastic. And now. These are mailboxes. I don't think I explained it when we were in Windfall Island, but. Good morning! Welcome to the Island Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? I, I don't have anything for delivery. So, let's go up here and. Oh, look! It's that, well, it's, I think it's the same bird that we met on Outside Island. Link, Link, is that you? I honestly don't remember his voice um, when we were on Outside Island, so he's going to be a bit quieter, if, if honest. Uh, it is, I'm, I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. Wow, way to point that out. And your sister, is she... Uh... God, you're just bringing up all the, the bad situations today. Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. Thank you. I have an idea, Link. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people here about you, and all of us Rito are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our heir, Irie. It is settled, then. Now fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Link. I'll be waiting. Oh, thank you. Wow. See, at least you're looking out for me. I mean, that's kind of nice, you know. Um, although, you did point out the fact that I don't have wings. And that's, well, let's be honest, it's a bit of a touchy subject. So. Um, oops. Didn't mean to press that. Uh, yeah. I, I figured as much. But, anyway. Let's see. Let's break these pots. Oh, rupee. Oh, don't fall. Um, actually, down there, you see there's, like, that thingy. We'll go and we'll explore that later. It's got a bit of a, a later on, um, thing going on there. So we'll figure that out. No problem. So this is the mail room. It's wonderful here. Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Baloo's anger? Oh, I didn't get this guy a voice. But I don't know. Ah, so you a Link, are you? Will has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. 
I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. Sir, you're very redundant, but I, I am very grateful. However, in the, main, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? No. Actually, I really didn't. As you can s as you can see, the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings in the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Balu. When Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of the dragon roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is this scale that enables Rito to grow his or her wings. Well, that kind of makes sense why he'd be so ticked off, because if someone was just like ripping scales off of my body, I mean... Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. Yeah, that's actually a really big problem. As Chief Netherito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Absolutely. Chieftain, what do you think of, our, of consulting Link with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Link is a very gallant long lad. Long lad? Yes, he has lungs. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct. My son Kamali is one of the aged to earn his wings. So he's he's wingless currently. Yet he is weak. In some ways and I in light of current situation. What he's weak in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. Yes. What say you? Will you share some of our courage with my son? son some of your courage, yes. Not exactly. Will you meet with my son? Absolutely. I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that we may better help you with yours. That's good. I have something I wish for you to give my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I'm counting on you. Well, wait a minute. You said I have something to give you. So go to this girl and she'll give it to you. Yeah, Link, take this to her. Who knows, it might come in handy. We got a delivery bag. Oh, find a carpet bag like this are used by the Rito. Postmen everywhere. With so many pockets, it can hold many items. Like Hanses. Put it on your, okay, wow. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the great Valu to us. In the meantime, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. All right, so we'll go upstairs and we'll look for, um, we'll look, I guess we'll look for her. Medley, which is an interesting name. Um. The people here are so nice. It's a very peaceful place looking here. Um, oh, are you? You must be our... Whoa! You really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. You Link, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the great sky spirit, Valu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. So... Um, there's no difference between any of the girl voices in this game because I, I just can't do any girl voice. Sorry. So what am I thinking here? This is from the chieftain. Thank you, God. Link, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. She's got a hazmat sign on her chest, by the way. Like, okay. Um. Dangerous substances inside here. Wow, we accepted father's letter. This is a letter from a father addressed to his son. So this is just any letter addressed from a father to his son and i have to give this to kamali i feel like if kamali got a letter that just said you know to whom it may concern and then signed a father um uh i don't know i don't think that'd be very plausible oh i have a small favor to ask of you could you please could you please come to the entrance of the dragon risk cavern later i'd explain everything then of course um well first god we have to go and see prince kamali i don't know where he is Nah, uh, I don't want to go out of the area yet. Let's try this one. Hiya! Um, is there anything in here? No? Alright. Uh, well, that's just storage room. That's lame. Let's 
so well. Let's see, can I go up any higher? I don't think I can go up any higher. So he must be in one of these rooms. We'll try this one. We'll see where this takes us. No harm in exploring, I suppose. Well, this this doesn't seem right. Uh, I'm gonna go back in. Um, maybe he's downstairs. He might be downstairs, actually. Oh god, don't die. Okay, he's fine. Uh, I just don't know which way to out, so we'll try this way. Oh, Link, don't walk in the wall. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is a long door. This has to be where he is. And it's it's got a bird on it. I mean, come on. What more could you ask for? Alright. Let's see. Um. Wow, this is an interesting room. Um. Hey, Kamali. Prince Kamali, sir. Uh, who are you supposed to be? I don't know. I don't. Oh, God. Um. I'm assuming we have to give him an open. Oh, God. Why? Can we give him that? Hood! Dukin! A letter? From my father? Well, it's from a father. Um, I, it could be from yours. Oh, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. He's so big and strong. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go get a scale from Baloo. Oh, oh, he's scared. Oh, it's okay. Listen. You're in this letter too, you know. How? He literally told me to go get it from someone else who he did not talk to. Like, this is a pre-written letter. He didn't even write it. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Well, no. Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Baloo right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him? He's so upset. You could try asking nicely. What are you trying to say, but that you can calm Baloo down? <laughs> That's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I tell you what, if you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roof to get to Baloo. Then I'll listen to anything you say. Alright. I accept your challenge. I guess uh, now we gotta go back to Medley at the Dragon Roost entrance. Which, to be honest, I think it was the room right behind her where she was standing, so let's roll our way over there. Uh, doorway. I think there's a, a mini game, like where you throw letters into like mailboxes and things like over there. Um, but we'll be doing that, I think, a little bit later. So, um, oh, in the wall. Don't do that again. All right, well, let's check. Oh, gosh. Is this, is this where I'm supposed to be going? I'm scared. I really don't know if this is where I'm, all right. Hello? I guess it's to be expected in this heat, but just take a look down there. Dragon respawn is completely dried up. God, he's the worst job in the entire, like, island, I guess. God, I feel bad for him. Um, where's Dragon Roost Cavern? Hey, I know you. Yeah, you're the adventure guy. Send him from island to island. Action, excitement, right? So, with all the adventuring you do, did you happen to find a golden feather? My girlfriend, she's wanting one of those things for the longest time. And actually, I kind of promised that I'd send one to her. Well, I don't have one. As of now, maybe I'll do one later. Uh, that's not it. And this, I'm pretty sure this isn't it. But, I mean, we didn't actually, like, explore out this way, so... I mean, we might as well go and check. Uh, yeah, I definitely can't go this way. Yep. So, let's go back inside. And let's see if, um... God, well, I honestly thought she was... Ow, stop. Alright, let's go down here. Maybe there's another doorway we can go to. Um, I think that's the entrance. Oh, I think this might be the way in. It looks cavernous enough. I mean, as far as caves go. Oh, this, yeah, because we were up there. Hello? Ah, there she is. Medley, my girl. Hey, you actually came! I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. 
Do you see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great blue, he became so angry and in his rage, he shook the mountain and this boulder crashed down, flooding the spring. And you can see the result. Yeah. Oh, but where's my mind? Tell me, how it's been squalling. Um, well. Oh, it doesn't sound right. No, not at all. Not at all, I'm sure. I may be partially blamed for the bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the Great Baloo's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the Great Baloo. I'm not yet worthy of ma being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I possessed some of her strength. I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Yay. Link, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. Don't worry, a lot of people do it, um, actually. So we need to go to the small shrine, Peak of Dragon Roost. Um, we need to get some wind under her wings. I can be the wind under your wings. Um, absolutely. Ooh, thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. Whoa. Then face that legend, Dust me. Like, you want me to throw you? Oh, but, oh. Don't tell, don't tell the elf. Okay. I will, listen, don't, I'll throw you. I just won't, I won't tell the elf. Throw me. Throw me, Link. All right. Wait for the wind. Wait for the wind. Um. Oh, God. It's dying down. It's dying down. Okay. We got to time this right, guys. We got to time this right. Whew. And get ready for it. Nope. That's not right. That's not right. That's that way. Man, particle effects in this game are fantastic. Um. Uh, there we go. Throw her, Link. <laughs> Oh, look at that! 10 out of 10! Stuck the landing. Oh, thank you. No, no problem. I think now I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Baloo. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may be just an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Baloo's language. I'm not exactly versed in conflict, but... Look, if anything happens to me... Sorry, I kind of dropped the voice for a little bit. Please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. Um... Wow, you got an empty bottle. Uh, <coughs> said it to XYZ. Bottles are great for carrying and holding water and any other sorts of liquids. Oh, well, please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It's our secret, okay? Well, good luck. To both of us. Well, it just so turns out that that's kind of exactly what we needed. Um, I'm not sure. We need to go this way. Uh, we needed a water bottle, surprisingly enough. Um... Ah, uh, yes, I remember now. Okay, so basically she said don't tell anyone, so I won't tell anyone. Um, I will follow her. I follow her to the ends of the earth. Um, I think that's fair enough. Let's get some of this water. Yeah, we filled our bottle with water. Try pouring it on something that looks dry and withered. I will. But now, what have we seen recently that looks dry and or withered? Well, I've seen... I'm walking in the direction. I've seen bombs, bomb flowers. Perfect. Now we've got these bomb flowers back, and we can deplug the butthole. Perfect. Oh, uh, look at it, just splooge. This is going great, actually. Um, and now the water level is going to magically rise just high enough for us to reach that ladder and climb up to wherever she was at. So I'm guessing we're gonna go to Dragon Roost with her. Well, that, that actually filled up really fast. There's like copious amounts of water flowing. This water looks really nasty. Oh God, I don't really wanna be swimming in here, but whatever. Sacrifices must be made. Okay, now this, this one, God, I don't, I don't know about this. Like I never can get this right. It makes me very angry. So just just bear with me for a second. We'll figure it out. Hey, there's one. And now that comes down. And now this one is the weird one. And I don't even know if we have to jump across, but um, I'll try it without it first. Yeah, I definitely think we need to. Ah! 
No, no. Come on, please tell me we don't have to swim across again. Oh, wow. All right, let's do this real quick. All right, um, so let's... God, this thing will be the death of me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But I'm sure that, like, I don't even need to do this. But, hey, there we go. Perfect. And we are in. So on that note, before we go any further, I think we're going to go ahead and end it off here. Um, so I really appreciate it, guys. Next time, we're going to go through the caves and follow Medley up to Dragon Roost and see what we can do about this giant dragon problem. Um, so see.